Hey, this is Robert here at Guzzi Fabrication. And in this video, we're going to be customizing a pretty standard TIG torch setup. And this has the number 7 long cup and collar body. And a long back cap. And the standard length handle. This thing's going to measure out about 8 inches from tungsten to the end of the cap. And we just got our order in from uh, wellmonger.com. Hey, thank you, Jody. And we're going to be customizing this torch with Furic parts. And we got a uh, BBW SG19 cup and an MK14, as well as the Furic gas lenses, along with some CK Worldwide tungsten. Now, these are 2% lanthanated tungstens. And actually, this is going to be the first time I'm using the Furic stuff, so I'm really excited to try it out. And of course, every cup has an application. This isn't an everyday standard cup, by no means. But this is going to be the ceramic type. They also come in glass. These are the little diffuser lens with it. Extras. And here's the MK14. That's without the diffuser lens in it. And that's the back, the cupped end. And we just push this in and make sure it's square, seat it, and you're done. And you'll notice the CHF on these is quite a bit more than a standard. And the unbox. Pretty nice stuff. And there it is. These are going to measure out about an inch. So, what that means is you're going to be able to extend that tungsten out about an inch. That's going to be really useful for getting down into uh, really tight places. And then this is going to be the Furic uh, gas lens. You see the little flat spot on there. That's for a O-ring. So you can run this gas lens with either the ceramic cup or the glass cup. Really nice little feature. And there's the O-ring. Trying to get it on with gloves. And there it is. And this is just an extra glass lens that I had. I think it's the number 12 in the uh, TIG box. So, uh, we're gonna, just going to slide that over. Now, that's not the uh, Furic one. Just a comparison from a 12 to a 14. And then that's the 19. Okay, here we go. Unscrew in the cup. You can see the uh, factory style collet. We're unscrewing the back cap now. I really never like the long back caps. But you can run a uh, uncut tungsten in them. So once we get the uh, collet body out of the way, we're going to be removing the insulator. 
Now that is dished and it does fit that particular style of cup. And removing the standard handle. Now the handle alone is going to measure out about five inches. So we're going to cut that down a slight amount. Now beware, there the handle is directional, and if you cut the wrong end, then uh, it's not going to seat. Now this is how I cut my tungsten. A lot of guys will do a lot of different methods, but with this method, I don't get any splintering or fingering. And this is how I sharpen it. You can see the difference between the two. Standard collet gas lens. Now I really like the wedge type, which this one is. The other ones seem to twist, or they're really prone to twisting. That wedge collet is going to last you a really long time. So with this new setup in the gas lens, we're going to be able to cut down that tungsten. And I put a little bit of different grind on the tungsten in there. And that's what I was talking about. That insulator is mated to that type of cup. So that'll have to be changed. So here's the insulator that's going to work. Now that's a shot of the cut down versus the standard length. The regular long back cap versus the stubby. And there's the body of the torch itself. And now we're going to build it. Snap in the insulator. Install the glass lens. A little stubby back cap. Installing the shortened handle. And these sheer cups are screw on ceramic, so that's really nice. And that's what I was talking about. Your stick out is the width of the cup size. Just a general rule. So we went from our 8 inches down to 4. And there it is. really long stick out there and like I said it does have its applications it's not an everyday uh, torch setup and this is a uh, flex TIG torch body so now we've uh, really increased the new maneuverability. We can, uh, you know, put that thing exactly where we need it, bend it the exact way we want to hold it. Just makes life a lot easier. Or at least to me, than just a uh, standard straight fixed uh, TIG torch. 
It's all in preference. Okay, the standard. Look at it again. And now a comparison with the customized torch next to it. Really cut down the size on that thing. Really get into some tight places. It's a lot more maneuverable lighter so now a real side by side you can really see the difference hey if you have any questions or comments if you like the video hey hit that like button and then subscribe to our channel we're closing in on 40 videos and we're going to keep making more. If you have a particular subject you want to see a 